OK, in this video, we're going to do a timer and a counter to do some. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, years type of logic. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. On my controller. I'm now talking to it. OK, so the first thing we'll do is go in and do a hardware configuration. And we'll hit auto config. We'll end, start with a normally open contact. We're going to tie this to address M1, and we'll just call this uh, machine start. And after that, we'll run a timer. And we're going to tie this to address 1. We'll make it a retentive timer. And uh, we'll have a preset of 60. We'll change it to one second. So every 60 seconds, it will reset. On every timer encounter, since we assigned register one here, we use two registers. The first register is the accumulation of time. The second register is a control word of which the 15th and 16th bit are usable. 15th bit tells us it's timer timing. 16th bit tells us we're timer done. So since we did register one, it'll be register 2.16. And in this case, that will give me the reset. In the next rung, I'm going to put a normally open contact tied to R2.16, which is the timer done of the 60 seconds. That means every minute it will pulse. We'll do a counter. We'll assign that to register three. We want to count every 60 minutes since this is our minute counter. Again, since we used register three here, register four is our control word, so we'll use 16 as a reset on that. The next contact will come in and we'll say register 4.16 and we'll go into a second counter. So this is going to be register 5. Now we're counting days, so we have three uh, we have minutes or seconds, minutes, hours. So this is hours that we're counting. And we want to count 24 hours. The reset would be R6.16. So R6.16 will start the count of days. R6.16. We'll run another counter. This will be register 7. We want to count 365 days. It will reset with register 8.16. And then the last thing we'll do is put in a contact to register 8.16. And we'll do our final counter, which will be register 9, counting years. We'll have a zero preset value, and on the reset this time, we're going to make that a T1 bit, which we won't reset in this application. So at that point, we've done our five rungs of logic. Normally, we would give these all names. So this would be seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. If we go over to the graphics side, we can do the graphics editing, and I'll show you that in a second. So now I'm going to go in and assign these names on here so that it uh, makes sense when we go to the graphics side. So this one will be seconds. And this will be seconds done. And you'll notice that seconds done went over to this contact over here as well. This one's going to be minutes. And this will be minutes done. This will be hours and hours done. This will be days and days done. And the last one will be years. All right. So now we're going to go to the graphic side. 
And if we go ahead and drop a contact or a numeric data point in here, and we'll double click on this. And the first one we're going to go in and grab is seconds. So if we click on the name and hit S for we'll see seconds on there, tells me it's register one. Since I only have 60 seconds, we can display two digits of data. And under the legend, we will say seconds. Um, maybe for our example, we'll make that font just a little bit larger here. OK, we're pretty happy with that. We'll do a copy and a paste of that. Move this over. Double click on it. This one's going to be minutes. So we'll hit the M for minutes and there's minutes up there. And we'll change the legend to say minutes. OK, hit OK. Again, still two digits on minutes. Then we'll copy and paste that one. This will be our hours. So we'll go up here under the names field and we'll go to H for hours and grab that. Um, 24, so it's still two digits. We'll go to the legend, we'll say hours, hit OK and OK. Then we'll copy and paste that and put this down here. And this one will be days. So we'll click on days. This time we're going to bump that up to three digits because we have 365 days. Under the legend, we'll make it say days. Hit OK, hit OK. And then we'll copy and paste that one last time. And this one we will say under the name is going to be years. We'll give it a few more digits on the year side. We'll give it five digits. And then we'll say under the legend, years. OK and OK. So now we've got all that information on there. We have to put on a uh, momentary or a toggle button for um, turning the machine on. So if we remember right that we call that machine running or machine on. So hit the M machine start. I guess we called it M1. We'll make that a toggle function and we will make that uh, round. Now let's make it the fancy new style of the 3D button. And then let's go in and turn on the on off string. The on color will be green. And the off color will be dark red. OK. So we'll just grab and drag that in the center there. Close this down. At this point, we're happy. Let's go ahead and hit the button. It's telling me the fatal errors. It's not a fatal error. It's a warning error uh, because we use that second register and they want to make sure we know we're not stepping on anything, which we're not. Hit the OK button. And at this point, we've been downloaded and everything's uh, running all good. So we'll go and take a look at the logic on the HMI side. OK, so now we've got the video going of the XL4 in the background back here. And it, you see the machine running bit is off. Our seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years all say zero on them. If I run in here and click on the machine running bit, we start to accumulate seconds. And the uh, Timer will start to time and count up. I'm going to go in here and click on my data watch for a second. And see if we can get this, we can see it all at the same time. OK, so I'm going to speed things up here a little bit and I'm going to make this up to uh, 59 minutes just so we can see it count up. There's our minutes. We'll bring that up to 58 again, and it goes another minute. We'll take the minutes up here from two, and we'll take that up to 59. And we go back down to the seconds. We'll bring that up to 58 so that we can speed the process along. And there's an hour. We'll take the hours, which is right here at one. We'll make that 23 hours. We'll make the minutes at 
59 minutes. And we'll take the seconds back up to 58. And when it counts two more seconds, we'll go to one day. We'll take the days up to 365, oops, 364. And we'll take the hours up to 23. We'll take the minutes up to 59. And we'll take the six seconds up to 58, and we should go into a year. There's one year of counting that we've accumulated. So this shows how this will all work together and have the ability to demo that.